香港，琴日落机。你阿奇我都到咗啦，咁我哋齐人啦，咁就可以开会啦。诶、呃、，so let's get started。So, uh, then, 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 I, I have to drop notes, right? Just a second. Okay. Okay. Hope that you can see my share screen. Uh, first are some uh, like contrain statistics. Uh, Phoebe, are you ready? Yes. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, so this week, uh, the number of addresses uh, increased it to seven thousand five hundred. Number of transactions increased to about a hundred and thirteen thousands. Yes, and the dedicated token remains more or less the same. It remains at the level of about two hundred and fifty-one millions. And the graph、uh, shows the trend of these figures. The number of transactions、uh, is growing about linearly. The number of the address uh seems uh growing but uh a little bit slowing down, and the number of delegated tokens remains uh about a flat line. So uh then uh last week I was uh, uh I was having a holiday but uh the remaining days uh the working days I was uh reading the Cosmos IBC demo cooks. Uh, to try to learn the mechanism and prepare for game of sticks, a、uh, game of game of thrones. Sorry. This week I will continue、uh, reading those cooks and、uh, and I will start、uh, cooking the next version of Litecoin Chain. Uh, at the beginning, I think the main task is to、uh, migrate to the new version of Cosmos SDK and plan the migration process because it's uh. Large and breaking change. Yeah, that's it.、Uh, okay. Um, Chong,、uh, will you include the growth percentage as well? Uh, the growth percentage, but uh, I think it's since uh last week I was、uh, I was having a holiday, so the last report date was uh. Was Thursday, so I think the percentage is not very accurate.、Uh, if it is needed, I will、uh, I will put it into、uh, in the in the report later. Yeah, I think we can just compare to last week report. It's fine because it's easier for readers to read at least to know the growth percentage. Her.、Uh, William used it to、uh, suggest that, but、uh, growth percentage is actually. Not the right way, I think, because the base keep growing, so the percentage is supposed to drop. If you use the base,、uh, the base until last week, the figure until last week as the base. Or maybe, okay. Maybe, maybe you mean the difference. I mean, yeah, the difference. Yeah, but but it's not exactly the growth percentage. Um. Okay. Because in terms of percentage, it's supposed to drop. If it's linear,、uh, I have also shared the link to uh to the web、uh, to the spreadsheet that I showed you uh showed you before. So maybe it's a clear uh maybe if it's to show the difference, it's a just show the table will be a clearer way. I think. Uh, okay. Just simply from a user perspective, I. If they didn't see the last week report, they probably don't know what these numbers all meant. I agree Or, with Phoebe as well. Yeah. So if there's、uh, like a percentage, they can even, go, oh, we have a growth issue or whatever. Yes. Even、right. though the percentage is is dropping, it is a kind of information. Oh, we can just indicate the base is like growing. That's why, just at one sentence or what. Okay. I'll provide this data later. Okay. Thank you. Uh, how's the result of meeting with Lumi? Ah,、uh, Lumi, 
Yes. Now, basically, we talk I'll, about the. Uh, I'll cover that in my in my talk. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this is my talk. And uh, last week, I have a uh, test and fixed the review of a uh, phase one of C three Lighthouse report, which is the host data storage. For the warm data storage, which is uh, the phase two of the task, uh, I have job and review with uh, other technical, and I will implement it this, this week. And also, I have added more user info in the C3 Lighthouse log for internal analysis. And this week, uh, I will also update our current email, email version of the C3 Lighthouse report. It will be used if the app version is on production data. And that's it. Uh, last week, I have released uh, a Mala update to the browser extension. And uh, I have also updated a release to the WordPress plugin and is for mainly supporting the, the, the like ID program in short code. That is, uh, you can define a like ID into the WordPress short code for putting any like button with any like ID you want in your WordPress article. And this is done in order to support the, uh, the loop project, I'm not sure the project name. And I have already communicated in the, the, the Discord channel. And also I have finished uh, handling the Gitcoin bounty, the uh, one on the Leica land about a GOIP one. And I've already approved the work and released the bounty. And if I have time this week, I will make a new bounty about like a land app and uh, yeah, and post this on the GitHub and maybe we can help uh, promote that bounty in our social medias. And also I was mainly preparing for the OTF proposal and review last week. And also I've submitted a proposal to HKOSCon about uh, open culture uh, last weekend. And those two uh, will have to wait for, uh, for OSCon is about March to have uh, to, 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 to have some kind of response and I'm not sure about OTF. And I was already, I was also working on the Litecoin Pay Library and I finished up the ID and cooking part uh, last week and this week I will continue on working on the receiving part as the API part and then I will do some testing. Hopefully I will finish the MVP for Litecoin Pay Library this week. And if I have some time, I will also reveal other pending issues that appeared last week, like the Lido CO register US issues and other issues on the browser extensions. Yeah, that's it. Um, do you think the gig coin bounty is effective, at least for the previous campaign that we have or the current campaign that we have? Uh, I'm surprised that actually uh, in like uh, less than 48 hours, uh, we have already like three to four workers that want, that want to work on this bounty. So uh, I, I actually, I, I thought maybe only one or two will respond in very, in a week, but it's overwhelmingly positive. So maybe Gcoin is a very good platform on putting bounties. And yeah. I'll put some more different kinds of bounties to see if they are only interested in simple tasks or more maybe more complex tasks we do too. Uh, how about the quality of the participants? Mm, I have only uh, worked with one of them, but uh, it's not super high quality, but he is very willing to discuss and amend his work. So maybe if we are willing to spend some time, uh, they will work too, but of course it is not as effective as uh, any one of our developers just doing all the work. But uh, in the future, we we actually want to learn how to discuss with other outsiders to cooperate with our future contributors. So maybe this is a good practice. Is the discussion happen on uh, GitHub in the form of comment or uh, is it is it public? Uh, I mean yes, it's public because uh, it's mainly happened on GitHub uh, on the issue and PR. And maybe if you want to, about them, I can post it on the 
uh, slack or minutes. Yeah, I think let's let's post in on minutes as well. Hello. But other than you? sorry, just a follow. -up, but other than technical bounty, is there? Do you see other bounty that will serve the same response or just technical bounties? Uh, on the Gitcoin, there are actually many uh, interesting bounties, including uh, making memes for a project. So as long as it is approvable on GitHub, that is, uh, although it's not technical task, but when you have some somehow uh, 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 used GitHub to manage the work, this work. So uh, there are a few kinds of non technical work I see, but like making memes and writing documents or writing description. And they are all managed in GitHub, but it's not really technical. So it's possible to do this kind of job, but I'm not sure about the response, uh, the, the response from the workers. But I see the meme task has very positive response. So maybe we can try to, but uh, if you are talking about translation, I like can see that kind of task uh, appears in the Gitcoin list too, but I'm not sure about if there are many uh, target workers we want. Okay. Um, hello, this is David. And last week I have finished the following settings on the app and I have uh, talking with uh, uh, Enid and integrated with the of course settings on the test net. And I have conducted the new uh, A-B test on Sigalika entry page which is a uh, uh, slash CVID. And um, for this version, uh, is a site, it has slightly adjustment on the last uh, version, which is the new design uh, that Q has made, and which is specifically uh, uh, targeted for the mobile version. And I have uh, saw the result, and the result is uh, quite good, I think, uh, about 84% uh probably the, to the best so i just suggest to apply this uh result and continue the next ab test and also i have studied and uh implement the ios share extension of the app and i have faced some uh technical difficulties and um i am not able to uh release the uh, uh app on the test flight and I will continue to uh, resolve the uh, remaining issues uh, this week. Also, um, I will um, um, implement the Android version as well. And I will continue to study the uh, uh, integration on the liquid equity exchange. And for the remaining time, I will uh, spend on the development of statistics or the light pay with a feature on the app. That's all. Uh, um, there are, uh, yes, Phoebe? Sorry, uh, is there an estimation on the liquid, liquid exchange integration timeline? Would it be really difficult or how long does it take? I think, uh, I'm about two or three days if uh, no any problems and challenges. Okay, um, just because we actually, we haven't returned the agreement yet and just want to return it when we are almost done so we can push them for integration with the Litecoin chain as well. Um, so I just wanted to know, thank you. Uh, instead of um, presenting a weekly uh, statistics updates, I would like to present a monthly update because uh, February is just passed and uh, uh, it's a good time to to be here. Uh, so uh, the screen you, you see now is uh, the new user registration screen and um, the, 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 you can see that we have a, a, a great significant rise about new user registration is about 116% in February. Um, 
well. And and also for the uh, uh, for for the civic Leica, uh, uh registration rate, uh, you can uh, compare with the the new user registration rate. Uh, although the new user uh, registration has uh, significantly increased, uh, the new civic Leica's registration uh, did not seem to fall uh, to follow that growth in January. Uh, when comparing with January. The growth is only about uh, eleven percent. Emman, Emman. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, the last slide, please. Uh, I I suggest you to use uh, active instead of total because uh, total would mean I mean active means uh, all the registration minus the uh, those who unsubscribed. Total means something else, and it's probably useful to measure total as well. Okay, Fine. I will do it next time. Thank you. And uh, about the uh, like coin button conversion rate, we, we also have a significant progress. In January, uh, the conversion rate is only 1.71%. But in February, we, we have rise, the, 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 the rate has rise to uh, 8 Eight point nine nine percent, which is a uh, very significant, and uh, in fact, uh, for in on a weekly basis, we can observe uh, the trend is gradually increasing. I mean, the rate is gradually increasing week by week. Uh, I I I think is mainly due to the improvement of the off core registration wicket, and for the app download. Uh, uh, in contrast, it is not rising. It is, it there is a drop observed uh, in both platforms, iOS and Android. Although is the the drop is not very large, but uh, still uh, it it doesn't seem to catch up with the growth of users. So this is a social media performance. Uh, uh, in the last two weeks, we have performed uh, an evaluation about the social media marketing strategy with uh, Volunteer Daisy and um, uh, we observed that uh, in February, the, our, our, the, the performance of Facebook page is in fact uh, very good, but uh, I think it's, it is related to the advertising strategy. We have placed uh, an adver advertisement, uh, especially for the Taiwan users because it's because we observe that uh, the reach rate to Taiwan users is uh, is um, uh, is very low. So we 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 launch uh, uh, an advertisement uh, focusing on uh, Taiwan users uh, in the last uh, 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 I think around one week. So um, I think that there is a uh, this is a significant factor. And for the Twitter uh, Twitter performance, um, we have tried another strategy to post the tweets. In the past, we just uh, 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 fragment the articles that we published on the Medium and, 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 and tweet it out. But in the past two weeks, we tried to um, tweet out something, we tweet something that is related to our projects and also um, try to try and other form, format other, other subjects about the tweets. We'll keep on, uh, We'll keep this strategy in the in the next in the next month, and see if the Twitter's uh, the the performance of Twitter will 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 goes up. And uh, let's have a look at the new users demographics. Uh, and that that is related to the coming promotion strategy in in March. In February, uh, you can as you can see the num the number of users from Singapore increase. And in fact, it's not from Singapore, it's, from, it's most likely from mainland China via the VPN services. And uh, for the Civic Leica registration, uh, the, the high, the, the, I mean the, the elderly, the elderly group, in fact, has, has, has the highest conversion rate but their, uh, their, their market size is, is a lot smaller than the third group, which is uh, 20, 25 to 34 years old male group. And um, 
uh, it is surprisingly that the, the group of uh, 35 to 44 male group performance is the worst group. Uh, I don't know why. I still cannot find out the reason. I, I will keep investigating on it. But it will affect our uh, strategy on placing the advertisement on Facebook. Um, so uh, insights, there are two insights I want to share. The first insight is uh, we have to, I think we have to focus our, all, all our strength in March to some deeper conversion. As you can see, uh, although the top level funnels has a, has a very significant growth, but uh, the civic like a registration rate and also the app downloads are not catch up. So, so um, I would try to work on that. In March and also uh, in February, the 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 change, the the the, the rise of the the, the 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 better performance is due to a keyword, the freedom of speech, because there are two incidents happened in February that makes that that growth. Uh, I think I forget to mention that two incident. Yeah. The significant rise mainly due to um, uh, two incidents, but I did not I did not place it in here. Uh, the first incident is happened was happened in February five, Fe February fifth, and uh, which is uh, Doctor Lee passed away, and and the second incident happened uh, around February twenty something. Uh, there is a a block a block site a platform on ten cent closing down. So these two incidents uh, uh, drive uh, the traffic in February. So uh, previous week, I mainly, uh, my work is mainly evaluation of social media marketing strategy and also um, uh, a evaluation of new customer service too. And um, I have worked with a partner on the email campaigns. Uh, the objective is mainly to consolidate our uh, duplicate contents and deliver a better user user on board experience. In the coming coming week, I will uh, try to uh, think uh, of a way to to uh, compose a new ad, and uh, I I think not one new ad, but uh, will I I will implement the the new uh, advertising strategy based on the insights we found in February in February. And also, uh, last week I have uh, uh, investigating. I, I I I I have been investigating on the remarketing strategy as well, and find that the the work that uh, uh, our technical colleagues done is really useful. And I'll try to uh, uh, narrow down the, the 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 advertising audience. And um, I will also try to evaluate the new CS2 and hope to confirm the choice this week and uh, uh, remaining time may be spent on the content writing for promotion. That's all for my part. Um, hi, this is Phoebe. Um, so last week, uh, I've sent out the third newsletter for uh, our non-community members. Um, with Keen's help, we growth the email list to 2,500 recipients. And their open rate is uh, 28%, uh, as shown on the screen right now. Um, so the open rate, it's much comparative is, is better since last year, uh, since the last uh, newsletter. Um, and um, I think we need a couple more sent out to look at the data that we know who are the most engaged. No sound. Hello. Is it just me or is the problem from Phoebe? Phoebe dropped out. Oops. Oh, Phoebe is down.
maybe I I I talk my part first. This is Josh. Uh, last week I host a meeting with uh, Enic, and uh, we together come came up with several UX issue and improvement suggestions. And some of these are uh, we are tackling it, and some are still waiting for them to, for the next version of design or next version roll out. I also make adjustment on the specific UI that uh, David has uh, speak before for the A/B test, and I'm happy, very happy to to you heard the result is uh, actually in into some right directions. And also make uh, concept design for the quick exchange, and I will carry on. Also, uh, sort out the requirements of uh, the upcoming uh, bookmark feature, which is the upgrade for uh, such as archive or or any other features. Uh, basically, I will carry on with uh, with all the work last week that uh, include follow up on the sign in or sign up UX UI issue that we talked about with Enic last week. And also I will uh, see the, the profile setting that uh, uh, is, uh, is first time on the app and I will see if any uh, significant UX UI issue or any improvement can, can suggest to Enic for improve. Or, or for our side. And also I will uh, continue on design the bookmark sessions and the quick exchange. Um, that's it for me. Um, sorry, I think I had some technical issue just now. But um, as mentioned, uh, newsletter is uh, making progress. Uh, once we have several more newsletters sent out, we can identify who are the um, potential um, loyal community members of us uh, through the campaign, as we can measure what kind of links did the people clicked, uh, et cetera, um, so um, and hope to what's continue. The, what's the hmm? click rate? What's the click rate uh, instead of the open rate? Click besides rate the, is... Besides the open rate. Yeah, just one second. Uh, Click rate is about two percent. I I would like to say the, the the rate is really not bad. Uh, when comparing with those email newsletter that we send to our uh, active uh, members, uh, with with like IDs, uh, is more mm -hmm. or less the same. Is more or less the same. Even better. Uh, uh, our our open rate is around twenty to twenty five percent only. Okay. Yeah, but I think the number is not very accurate right now because this is our third one. So uh, I hope to continue the effort to make it up to a weekly newsletter at least. Um, but the other thing is I need content for the newsletter as well. And since we are in the face of the um, proposal right now, so I uh, would like to conduct a uh, interview with four balls, uh more like a phone interview but it will be in, in a blog post so we can kind of uh, catch up and also engage with them and also learn about their experience with the cosmos uh, community so um i hope to conduct the interview this week and perhaps i can publish the blog post about that next week so there will be content for my newsletter especially for the audience that i have right now um and for this week uh i will draft a blog post about the crowdfunding ideas that we had uh in mind especially for the 2020 um development plan for litecoin so we can kind of prepare our community members about our um not financial status but about the um upcoming plan that we have since ICO period. So I will likely draft a very simple one uh, and then Keen will follow up on the more details idea brainstorming with the community. Uh, and since we have a basic common um, discussion that we will be doing a crowdfunding um, uh, for 
uh, for the project. So I think it's a good time to prep our community about what we have been discussing. And perhaps we can also have some input from our community as well. Um, and also current reviewing several uh, fund options. Uh, Keen sent out the Web3 Foundation uh, funds last week. Uh, I took a brief look about it, but i um, not sure if we are actually applicable for it uh, since it's highly related to Polkadot uh, projects. Um, but I will continue that effort on looking for funding options and also reconnect with uh, Wilson from um, one of the nonprofit uh, connection that we had this week, uh, either over the phone or I will probably meet him in person. Um, also working on the one of the Korean um, ICO review website called Singo. Singo. Uh, yeah, and um, they are offering a free service for us to do some project details review um, for us. Um, yeah, that's it from my end. <clears throat> Hello, uh, I was here. Uh, last week, uh, I sent out a proposal to the Open Source Conference Hong Kong, and the title is uh, Decentralized Content Registry, Expanding IPFS Functionality with Cosmos-Based Blockchain. And now uh, we are waiting the uh, response. And about the I ISM part, or I uh, after some discussion, uh, I will put the uh, spec on a, a particular repo called ISM hyphen space first or uh, after that or uh, maybe have some uh, new version of this bed and then uh, it will sync to the docs doc like doc seal uh, that's the keep up of all of our documentations um in the coming time about the uh, isen uh, i will go through a few parts uh, one is the uh, specification itself, another is the uh, schema of the ICN, that, that means the metadata, the schema of the metadata, and the uh, uh, IPLD design. Or I think uh, those issues is all about the uh, ISN. Uh, at the same time, uh, maybe I need to discuss with uh, Keen or other tech guy about the ISCN uh, before I really uh, uh, to make the decision on the schemas. So uh, this will be the coming issue of the ISCN. Yes, that's all. Hi, it's Keen. Uh, so last week I I'm supposed to uh, put my effort mostly on lobbying the uh, proposal one of Litecoin, but uh, I have to say I'm, I haven't done a good job in this regard and the uh, deposit is only about halfway until uh, a million Litecoin and the um, awareness is not high enough. So uh, anyway, we'll have it, have the uh, deposit fulfilled within today. And then we still have two weeks voting period for us to uh, for us to explain to the community what exactly is happening. So I was kind of dragged away by uh, some other tasks such as uh, liaison with uh, Liquid to explore the quick exchange feature and possibly um, token up update, upgrade to like on chain. And then we have a uh, a meeting with uh, Lonely, which is the uh, wallet of um, of the Cosmos community, and it's it's very preliminary. Uh, we are not sure where we'll proceed, but uh, anyhow, we Lonely itself is an open source project, and then uh, they also have a MetaMask like Chrome plugin, which people can can use freely. So as long as for example, uh, Big Deeper can support the Looney extension, the uh, Looney Chrome extension. 
uh, that would work. So uh, we probably don't have budget to uh, pay Looney to do anything um, customized. And uh, a few of us joined the, uh, the gathering of the loop on Wednesday night to talk to the community of, of uh, civic hackers on projects using the Lycon protocol. So we managed to have uh, one project kicked off, which is uh, uh which is the, the very, very, um, I would say proof of concept is already uh, live on the internet. And uh, like just now, William mentioned upgrading the, uh, the, the WordPress plugin so as to support this project better. And uh, I'll follow up more on the initiator, which is uh, Antman. I call him Antman, Anthony Man, and uh, to to support him in realizing this um, this particular concept. And uh, lastly, I also published uh, an article on on the on the management of uh, Lycon team, the, the management rationale of Lycon team, and uh, just submitted the application to Internet Freedom Fund last night. The, the deadline is this morning, which is already passed, and we submitted last night and get an, get an confirmation that uh, they've received it uh, in time. That's it. Um, are we meeting in the office to this week? Yeah, we, uh, if, if nothing happened, uh, we'll be back to office on Wednesday. To discuss uh, various issues. Uh, anything else for discussion? Uh, if no, then that's it for today's meeting. Thank you.